Hello everyone. Today I will try to explain how to get PostgreSQL full backup and incremental backup even with easy way how to restore uh, this full and incremental backups. Uh, for backup purpose I have used WallG. Actually I came to the WallG from WallE which written in the with the Python language and then uh, rewritten to the Go language to the WallG. I found a lot of information about Wallji from GitHub page, even you can find from GitHub a lot of information about this. And uh, from previous videos uh, we can see I have used Patroni with PostgreSQL, uh, Patroni controls uh, PostgreSQL clusters, Patroni written in Python, you can find a lot of information from GitHub Zalando about this. and. Like as load balancer, I have used HA proxy from uh, microservice applications. I mean, app site comes through virtual IP address 10.1.42.255 to the PostgreSQL master server. And master server of the PostgreSQL goes right all uh, incremental and full backups through this virtual IP address to the menu cluster, which I showed in the topology actually here. Uh, let me say a little bit about Minio 2. It is like as Amazon Web Services S3 packet written with Go. It's nearly the same, uh, even to restrict access to some bucket. I have used uh, JSON file from AVS official page. And uh, let me show the topology for now. This is all servers I have configured uh, to simulate full and incremental backup to my menu backend servers. And let me show the statistic page of HA proxy. As we see, we have one master node, two slaves, and this is a menu backend servers. All this stuff, uh, it's automatically configured uh, with Vagrant and bash codes, which you can find from GitHub page. At the end, I will paste this link inside of uh, comment and you will find easily how to prepare this uh, from medium page 2. I will paste medium page 2 there. And this is a menu page. As we see for now, PostgreSQL uh, goes to put all incremental insert selects, updates, everything each 60 seconds from walls to uh, this virtual IP address, which uh, looks to the four menu backend servers. <coughs> Sorry, let's sim let me simulate uh, full and incremental backup for now. Uh, we need firstly to define our master node. Oh, sorry, we can define even from HA proxy page. It's a pat pat pg one, which is a current server. I am going to switch uh, to the even. I need firstly to create some database to stimulate some insertion from master node. As we see, it's a virtual IP address of the HA proxy. I'm going to create some test database and some table with some structure, and then go back write some data each five seconds uh, to this wall check database inside of counting table. Let me simulate. I'm sorry, table doesn't exist. Mm, oh, yeah. It is right. And after 10 or 15 seconds, I think it will be enough for us. Yeah, it's enough. I will connect to the
world check database and select all insertions which I did before which I will store in notepad to compare and I'm going to switch to the latest wall segment and then get full backup to do that we need to switch to the Postgres user and then execute switch to wall and get full backup to the remote I want to show the content of this script as we see it's going to read uh, S3 configuration from WallGD folder I have defined uh, PG data for uh, the variable which uh, WallG binary file which written in Go requires this variable PG data is a database pass folder of the PostgreSQL socket file, username, bucket name, access and socket, uh, secrets you can find all of this stuff uh, from GitHub page which I wrote and showed in the GitHub page and I'm going to execute as we see it's fraud based backup with this ID we can now go to the menu page as we see backup came here and we can see even from console list of the full backups each time uh, when you will get uh, full backup new backup ID will be appended to the uh, first I mean the ID of the full backup append a new ID to the end of the old backup and you will see this uh, when you will execute this command what I want to simulate if I will go to stop the master node and remove all data pattern pass uh, it will go even I can stimulate uh, little insertions too uh, but we need 60 seconds to to be sure or all, all our changes went to the uh, wall incremental logs too let me uh, yeah, write some new data too 10 seconds I hope 6 seconds uh, will be enough for that I'm going to stop Patroni. Mm, let me show the page because of we need to be sure. Mm, where is it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, currently, we have master node pad PG1, uh, which works uh, with the iPad OS 10.1.42 uh, 141 and we go to stop Patroni and RM data Patroni pass why data Patroni pass let me show Patroni control C let's see Patroni show config yeah we cannot find from here ok As we see, data there is data patroni, and I'm going to remove this pass uh, to stimulate get all backups from menu side. And we need to be sure we have second one of the second nodes will be master. Yeah, for now our master node is a pad pg3, and now I'm going to get all backups from patroni we can see the content of the data patronium nothing now I'm going to get everything from menu I'm going to clear content of the PostgreSQL log file because of I want to see really it's going to get 
everything from uh, menu side. This line restored log file from menu, and I'm going to connect to the Postgres PSQL. We can work inside of Slack because of it's only going to select, not insert. Well, check. The last line was is 1638 as we see. And it's wrote new lines too as we see our wall incremental log files went to the menu and we get all this change from menu side. And I think I showed everything as I said before. I will paste background link and uh, menu documentation inside of comment. Thank you for watching.